Hello, uh, welcome to Bruce's Art Studio. Today, what we're going to paint is a brass vase. Now, when you're using a, a blacker or darker background, if you want to do a sketch, use a white pencil. I did that originally. And you can also, if you want to use a white background, use a pencil and then paint it. And that's what I did. So the reason why I mentioned that is, is all about the edges of your painting. When you're doing the edges of your painting, you want to get them exact. So I'm just using a little flat brush here to start off with. Let me go through the colors of the paint that I'm using. I'm using a cad yellow light with a burnt ombre. And I mixed them 50-50 and then I added uh, burnt ombre and got darker, darker, darker. For shadows, I use a bub mix and I added little bits of dabs, an ivory black and an alizarin crimson and a Prussian blue. For a dark shadow, let's say underneath the vase itself, I added a burnt ombre all by itself, right out of the tube. And for highlights, I used a cad yellow light with a titanium white or just titanium white. And down here you see a green color. That's a black and a yellow mixture. Okay, so let's get on with this. I have a sort of a small flat brush, which is I'm working with. The background that I started or I painted is just a black and a red. Now, this is a small flat brush. I'm going to use a wider brush to start filling in. This is a wider brush. Now, the width of your brush depends upon the size of your subject. This is a fairly small subject. So I'm going to start with my middle mixture. I'm putting quite a lot of paint on my subject. And I'm short little dabs is what I'm doing. When you get to the edge, you might find it sort of dry. Just add a little bit of medium. I have my medium down here. Just add a little bit of medium. Flatten your brush, because I'm using a flat brush. Paint along the bottom. And just a little bit up the side in the front. This side, left to right, is the way the light is going to be hitting this vase. Now, everything is in short little dabs. When you're painting this, there's a couple of areas you should watch out for. In this area here is where the neck meets the vase or vase. And this area here is where it protrudes out and starts to become like a globe. So now I'm going to the first mixture and I'm going to start just little dabs. I'm leaving this middle area here a bit open. And every once in a while I'm going to throw the middle section of color into my paint. Little dabs. In this area, I'm going to do a little bit more mixture. I'm going to take some of my yellow and add it more to that first mixture. I want it a little bit lighter, sort of in between those two colors. Little mixtures, little marks. Now 
Next what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over with a smaller brush, small flat brush, and I'm going to start defining a little bit like the lip. So we'll start with the lip there. Remember where I said the neck meets? Uh, of course, inside your vase. Now what we're going to do, we're going to blend all these colors together because already you can see the shape and the, you can also see the actual brass color coming out. So we're going to do a little bit of polishing. Just go left to right with a very, very soft brush. Follow the shape of your of your uh, vase vase. And you see how the the little marks where I went and put dark inside of the light, light inside of the dark, it starts to give that realistic look of this antique type brass. Now we're going to go to straight white, right out of the tube. Well, before I go to that, now I'm going to do a little bit of mixture here, my highlights, the actual highlights. Let's do that first. I'm going to put a little dab where you think the light is going to meet and touch upon your subject. Like so. And yes, we're going to buff it. And all you have left to do, as far as the vase goes, is another highlight. And that is just your plain, clean my brush a bit. And just straight white out of the tube. Oh, let's say it's going to be here. And the light's going left to right. So let's say here. And there's always a little bit to the side. And if you want, you can buff that just a little bit, just to make it as if it's going along a smooth surface. Now let's play around the bottom here. The bottom I'm going to use the black and the yellow mixture for a green. And then we'll get some black up. There's some black. And there's a little bit of yellow up there. So let's mix that. Let's get a green. Has a little bit of white in it. Just a uh... 
Now what I'm going to do in this area where I put the white and the green, I'm going to put my dark colors, my dark shadows, that's the black, red, and the blue mixture. And it's going to come out sort of on a greenish side. All brass has green in it. Going to buff that a little bit. Want that nice and smooth reflection. Then we're going to take the actual color, the first color that we mixed, and we're going to crisp exit, like so. And we're going to buff it. And in this area here, we're going to go back to the green. And we're going to... And we're going to go back to the dark. And you only have one thing left to do. And that is to use your burnt umber and make a very dark reflection and shadow underneath your painting. And just sort of drag it a little bit into those other colors. So there you go. There's your, there's your vase, antique vase, and it's brass, and you can really play with this in here. Uh, you can take, uh, put more of your yellows and more of your burnt armor and, and really turn this into a fantastic little painting. So let's just take our little final touch-ups and call it a day. going to take some dark and I'm just going to touch it a little bit up here, touch it a little bit there, make sure we know where that neck meets, and there's your painting. Well thank you very much for watching and I hope for the beginner uh, You've learned a little bit, especially your colors. But now the edges, if you really want to get these edges uh, really uh, clean, you have to go back and you have to go over what you've done before. Like that. And then your painting will be finished. Thanks again. Until next time. Happy painting.